Let's invite additional users to the project. We'll go to the Team tab page, and we can see that I'm the one that's created the project. To add a new user, we'll say Invite Users to Project, and we'll type in their email. We can then choose the role. We can select either User or Admin, which gives different permissions and privileges for the project. Once done, we'll press the Submit button. Now let's go ahead and create a user group. User groups can represent different teams in an organization, they can represent companies, as well as different disciplines on the project. User groups are handy to take a bunch of users together and holistically be able to assign them to different tasks on the project, as well as be able to manage their folder permissions on a holistic group level rather than having to manage individual users. So we'll create the group, we'll call it Architectural, and press Submit. We'll then select the users we'd like to add to that group, and then we can press the Edit Group and select Add to Group option. We'll select Architectural as the group we'd like to add this user to, press Submit, and now we can see that when we select Architectural Group, John Finglin has been added to that group.